What's going on guys, OddmanMC back at you with another episode of Today in Minecraft. And today we're going to talk about enchanted items and what to do with them. So, you can find enchanted weapons and armor throughout the game in loot chests, in villages, sunken ships, dungeons, and other places like that, including the end. You can also get them from fishing farms, much like the AFK fish farm that is behind me. But if you notice, as the sign says, it does not work in 1.16. So if you are playing in 1.16 at this point, it doesn't work in the same way. And I suggest going to check out Il Mango's video, which I will link down in the description. Now, let's say that you have found some iron armor or some enchanted armor that you would like, but you're not crazy about the enchantments that are on it. Now, if you'd like to get rid of the enchantments, you cannot put these enchantments on a book like you can when you put a book into an enchanting table, but what you can do is put them in what's called a grindstone to remove certain ones. Now, if you notice on this one, Curse of Vanishing does not disappear. We're going to talk about that in a minute. If I find enchanted armor that is of the same type, such as two iron chest plates like I have here in my inventory, I can combine them using the anvil. And it would take all the enchantments, for the most part, and combine them all into one. There's a limit on enchantments that you can have, so sometimes some will not trans transfer over. To make an anvil, all you're going to need is three iron blocks and four iron ingots, and you're going to want to put them in a crafting table in this formation. Note anvils do break over time so make sure that you have extra iron in the back or even some extra anvils made because they will break down the more you use them. So going back to what I said before, let's say that you find an item that you really like but you're not crazy about the enchantments. Like it has something on it that you wouldn't necessarily put on. You can put that in a grindstone to remove the enchantments and use that experience that you get back towards something else on an enchantment table. To use the enchantment table, you're going to need lapis, which you can get from mining. And all you're going to do is take your disenchanted item, such as this iron pickaxe, and you're going to put it in. In survival mode, these are not going to light up. They're just going to be lit, lit up right now because I'm in creative. And you're going to put lapis depending on which level you'd like. So I put three in for level three, and I click unbreaking three, and I end up getting that enchantment on there. So it could be better than what I had could be worse. If you don't like what you get, you can always disenchant it again and try again. Let's say that I disenchanted items already, like I disenchanted my iron boots, but Curse of Vanishing is still stuck on one of them. The only way that I've found to get rid of that is by putting them both into a crafting table, which combines them into one pair, and then you're left with a pair of boots that is not enchanted. But as long as you have the levels and the lapis, you can easily put them into an enchantment table and get a new enchantment on them such as fire protection or even just protection. Lastly I want to show you how to make a grindstone. What you're going to need is two oak planks, two sticks, and a stone slab. And you're going to go to your crafting table and put them in this fashion with a stone slab in the middle, sticks on the side, and two oak planks on the side underneath the sticks and you get your grindstone. It's pretty easy, it's used in a lot of aesthetic builds, but the main purpose that I'm showing you here today is just disenchanting items. Alright, that is all the time I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and hit that bell so you always know when I'm uploading content. Um, around this time, life's getting pretty crazy, so make sure you just hit that bell so you know whenever I'm uploading. And always remember, the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.